Hello, Tom here from Joshua Ministries. Today I want to share with you a word that has a strong promise in it. And it's about uh, supernatural favor and blessing that belongs to you and I who are born again and believe in Jesus Christ as our Savior. Amen. So it's written in Galatians 3.14. And let us read it. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. That we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Many times we don't think about it. The, 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 the really strong <laughs> promise that's written in the scripture. That you and I, we are are blessed with Abraham's blessing through Jesus Christ. Amen. What does it mean that we as Gentiles are blessed with Abraham's blessing through Jesus Christ? Well, as you know, Abraham he walked in supernatural favor. He believed God and it was counted him to righteousness. So there was no lack in his life. But it was because he believed God. It was through faith. It was received through faith, as we read here in verse 14. That we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. So this scripture must become a truth in you. And you must believe it. That you are a blessed person. Because you are saved and believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. That's amazing. So what does it really mean to have the blessing of Abraham upon you? Well, it means a lot of things, of course. But listen to this, what is written in uh, Genesis uh, 12 and uh, verse 2 and 3. That is also strong. And this belongs to you. Listen carefully. I will make of you a great nation and I will bless you and I will make your name great and you shall be a blessing and I will bless them that bless you and curse him that curse you and in you shall all the families of the earth be blessed. So God made out of Abraham a great nation and he blessed him and he was given a name that was great and that we know that's true he was great and he shall be and he is a blessing and we have the same blessing upon us through Jesus Christ that's amazing isn't it brothers and sisters in Christ that you have the same blessing in your upon your life as Abraham had on his but there's one important thing here. It must be received through faith. You must be willing to believe this word that is written here and spoken over your life. It means you must change your way of thinking as a Christian. That there is no lack. That is already given to you. How is that possible? Well, the word of God is the truth. And if it's written there, it is the truth. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are not cursed, are you? You are blessed with the blessing of Abraham. And he lacked nothing. He had animals. He had multitude of animals, cattle and whatever he needed. That was a measure of how rich a person was in those days. How much cattle they had, how many sheep they had, and so on. And we also read that he was rich on gold and silver, meaning he had no lack in any way. That's marvelous. 
But do you think or believe that this is for you also? Or do you have a poverty mentality? That is good to be poor and have lack and not get what you need. Well, you must take this thought captive. Because if you believe Galatians 3.14, that is a lie from the pit. Because you are blessed already. It has already come over you because you are a child of God through Jesus Christ. So I think what we can do now is to proclaim a favor declaration over our lives like a prayer to God. And this you can pray over your life every day. Yes, every day. You can proclaim it and believe it. And you will see how things can change in your circumstances and in your life. Amen? So let us pray this prayer I have here together and use it. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for who you are and all that you have done in my life. I thank you that I am a seed of Abraham and that the blessing of Abraham has come on me through Jesus Christ. Just as Abraham walked in your supernatural favor, I walk in your favor in every area of my life and that I am blessed of the Most High. In Jesus' name, Amen. Start to proclaim this over your life and have faith and believe that this is the truth and it is also valid for you. Until next time, be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and see you soon. Bye-bye.